If you've worked with LLM models that are hosted on the cloud, you know that you need a couple of things. One, you always will need an internet connection for your apps to be able to communicate with them. Two, you're going to need some kind of cloud account. Three, there are, of course, costs associated with consuming these models. And four, you might be a developer with a business use case for your application that has very strict compliance and security requirements that may not fit well with these cloud-hosted models. Recently announced at Microsoft Build, Foundry Local is a tool that allows us to run models locally on hardware-restrained devices, so your everyday computers, and eventually coming to mobile devices. So can you envision a world where everyone can just run a model on their phones and the opportunities and innovation that can come from that? I think that's pretty cool. Now, the cool thing is once you have the tool downloaded, you have the model that you want to work with downloaded as well, you don't need a internet connection. So the whole goal for Foundry Local is to build on this hybrid pattern of apps consuming AI, where you're going to have certain tasks that makes more sense and a local model is a better fit for. And then you'll have certain tasks that your app will want to accomplish via connecting or communicating with an AI model that's deployed in the cloud. Another benefit of using Foundry Local is that it is optimized with the Onyx runtime, which I'll make sure to have some resources linked in the description for you to read up on that. And additionally, it has a lot of goodies coming from the Azure AI Foundry service itself. Like it has the catalog of the Azure AI Foundry model catalog with a list of curated and optimized models for running locally. You'll get access to that. Right now, completions and chat are enabled and multimodal and agents are coming soon. And more features from Azure AI Foundry will also be coming to Foundry Local. And as soon as they do, I'll make sure to update you all with the video. So like and subscribe, please. Let's take a look at what working with the Foundry Local CLI and the SDK looks like. Once you have the CLI installed, you can go ahead and run Foundry model list to get a list of optimized models for Foundry local. And there's a bunch here already for you. And of course, the list will continue to grow. But feel free to take a peruse and select a model that you'd like to work with. From here, what we can do is Foundry model run and then provide a name. I'm going to use the Phi 3 Mini 4K one. If this is your first time running this command, it's going to first need to download the model locally. So it might take a few minutes, but from there afterwards, it's going to use the local cache. As you can see here, model was found in local cache. All right. Now it's pretty much running locally on your machine. Let's ask what does the yield keyword do in Python? There we go. We can see it running locally, the model, thanks to Foundry Local. But of course, we're probably going to want to work with these models locally with code. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So I've created a simple main.py script. And from here, once you have the Foundry Local SDK installed, you can do a couple of things. Like first, check that the service is actually running. So we'll go ahead and run this script and we should get a value returned to us, uh, simply true. Additionally, we can list catalog models. So that'll look something similar to what we did from the CLI, correct? Though the formatting obviously here is a little different, but you get the gist of that. Feel free to take a look at other things we can also accomplish with this SDK. And now let's take a look at how we can call these models from Python code. We'll continue using an instance of Foundry Local Manager, and this time we're going to use it to create a client with the OpenAI package. Now we are starting the service and loading the Phi 3 Mini 4K model with Foundry Local, and then we'll have both an endpoint and API key provided to us via that uh, FL manager. And then the chat completions code is the same that you would use with the OpenAI 
package. So let's go ahead and just run this. You see I've asked here, what does yield in Python do? And it is returning an answer for us. And that's how you can get started with Python Foundry Local and the Foundry Local SDK. So if you're on a team that has strict data residency needs, or maybe you're demoing applications that require to be used offline, or maybe you just want to experiment with LLMs locally, then give Foundry Local a trial. Make sure to have all the links that you'll need in the description. And let me know, what do you think about this? Uh, how do you think you can leverage this in your own projects? And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.